Okay, Joseph and Chris. <sighs> I am shocked. I like this property better than Moffy. I have to say, but I still like Moffy a lot. The landscaping on this is just incredible, front and back uh, and side. Joseph, I think when we were here, we didn't, uh, we just blew off the property because we couldn't get in. That was the day that they found out the bank changed the locks on the people. Um, they're going to be here at 12 o'clock noon today from the information I've gathered. And after that, it'll be a free-for-all with agents. Um, I think this one will go fast. It is a short sale. I don't know if you remember that. Um, I did not remember this is the house that we came to before, Joseph. It just dawned on me this morning. Okay, um, let me videotape the front door because uh, for some reasons I can't get in that way. Um, there's a little Eve there. Um, so we come in the garage, the garage floor is painted a light tan. It's got insulation on the garage doors, except for one panel. Not sure why that one panel would be left open. I, I suspect there's a reason. Um, it's got cabinets here. Here's all the walls, ceiling, okay, the washer and dryer, I'm sure you guys will get new appliances, but you can see evidence that Kytec has been uh, removed, it looks, and replaced with copper fittings. Now this is where we had the problem of Mo at Moffy that it needed extra work, and I do believe this might need a couple fittings like I emailed you. Um, definitely if you add the soft water loop which would normally be right here there would be another fitting here um, to be added but you wouldn't put Kytec in the first place. There's a refrigerator for your beer. It doesn't work and it stinks really bad. Um, if you want to go camping out in the desert, Joseph, there's your sleeping bag. Okay, so we come in the garage, from the garage, and we enter the office area. I do believe that this used to be the laundry room. Like I told you, I took mine and put my washer and dryer out in the garage as well and used this room for my hobby room. It's got nice window, um, built-in cabinets, um, they're just dirty. They're, I thought they were scraped up. They're just kind of dirty. Um, it's not granite. It's just for mica. Okay, from this room, I'm going to go to the left. So, all the floor is tiled, by the way. Sweet! I'll, t I'll show you any places that aren't. Tile's in great shape. Grout, of course, needs cleaned. You already have a quote on that. Here's the uh, air return, and this is the master, which has ooh, filthy carpet, Joseph. Need to replace that right away before you even walk in. Um, nice windows that look out on the yard. We'll go out in the yard in a minute, but it's a pretty private view. It, this yard is fabulous. That's the jacuzzi. It appears that it works, although it's uh, empty. Um, it looks in pretty good shape except for the lid. The lid on that is uh, uh, about 650. I just bought one uh, last year and it looks about the same size as mine. You got a two-way fireplace. Gas, of course. This goes through to the living room. It's nice. Um, all the walls. Do, 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 Ceiling. Uh, all the ceiling fans are gone. So you've got that to do. Although I saw what they had in here, they were real cheap. You would have replaced them anyhow. At least in the bathroom there is not carpet. It's got these really light colored um, cabinets in great shape. Um, cultured marble. Double sink. Not one window, but 
two windows, yay! There is a real estate god, separate tub. It's tiny though, it doesn't have jets in it. And a uh, shower. Shower, it's in great shape. It's already got your bar in there. Um, so here's the toilet room and uh, it's a nice size. It's not one of the ones where if you sit down your your sides touch <laughs> the walls. This carpet is also filthy but it's a huge master closet. Let's see. So it's kind of weird shaped. It's like a little L. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's about ten feet long. Two, three, four, five, six, six and a half deep. There's your winter metal. This is a winter house. Okay. Um, I believe that's part to an alarm system. Um, I'm going to check out by the front door when I go back out. Behind this uh, door is some more storage. Nice. Matches the uh, cabinets. Okay, we did the master. In the hallway, so if we come back out, you got a half wall that comes from the garage entrance to the office, and here's your living room. You've got built-in pot shelves, and there's the uh, fireplace. These are holes for surround sound. There's the hole for the uh, fan, the other speakers, and a chandelier for the dining area. Nice big wide area to the front door. Um, I know Chris likes that entrance. Let me go stand there. Um, it's about seven feet wide and um, about ten foot till you hit that pony wall. So obviously they took their surround sound, windows, doors, dining area, and there's the kitchen. From here, we're going to go outside. Love this backyard. Um, it's a covered patio. Let's just walk around. Oh, let me get the ceiling. There is a water leak there. Um, I picked up the SRPDs. I'll read about that, see if it's been fixed or if it's new. Um, it looks like it's, if it had, uh, well, we know it's leaked. It looks like it hasn't done it very many times because it doesn't have that brown 